A Johnson & Johnson subsidiary will pay $25 million after pleading guilty to a federal crime. McNeil Consumer Healthcare, the creators of the famous medicine Tylenol, pleaded guilty in a federal district court in Philadelphia to a criminal charge of manufacture and process of adulterated over-the-counter medicines. The company agreed to the, the, do the payout to the Department of Justice and to seal the details of the case. The agreement also includes furthering safety measures at the McNeil Fort Washington facility before it reopens because it was uh, closed down, and the company launched wide-ranging recalls since 2010 because of repeated offenses. Nick, uh, I think this is a story that, that calls for attention because many, many families found themselves with bottles of Tylenol mm -hmm. that had these little specks at the bottom that turned out to be metals, but not any metals, like aluminum. This was cadmium and zinc, which are highly toxic. Wow. We don't know if, because of, again, because of the settlement of $25 million, now we don't get to know the details of the situation, which bothers me. Because now it tells that Big Pharma can shell out $25 million and well, hide the situation that maybe we need to know what is going on. And we'll probably never know. If we'll we, we'll if, never to know. To be honest, we'll probably never find out. But even if we did, what would that change? Look at McDonald's. Look at all these companies that are putting crap in their food. We still eat it. Yeah. We know it kills us, makes us fat, gives us diabetes. We're still eating it. We don't give a shit. We're just happy taking it. But this is a different story because they hushed it. They kept it under the... They, they knew that there was a problem. They knew there was a problem. And they, they, they kept selling it and didn't recall yeah. it, right, for like a year or something with I mean, it they, on the market. Till the moment that there was uh, enough uh, complaints from the co consumers about the situation, then they did a major recall. Uh, and the problem with Johnson & Johnson is that they had this great reputation for many, many years decades. And since 2009, because of, of these problems, specifically at this company, the McNeil Consumer Health Care, they've been having these problems with very popular medicines, Tylenol, Motrin, um, Rolaids, and Benadryl. And mm. all of these different uh, products, they have been in the situation where either they have uh, adulteration on the manufacturer or misla mislabeling of, of the instructions, on the how to use instructions. Um, and they just go and report it till, you know, they come out because there's a group of people that complains. But the th thing is, and important to notice, is that there, were, there was no class action suit. I think this is something that the Department, the, U the Department of Justice brought to the court, accusing uh, this, this company, and we don't know what the money is going to be used for. And I think that's very important because we don't know if this is going to be used in programs to prevent this from happening again, or is this just going to go to where? I don't know. There's, there's no way to know because now it's sealed and closed. Yeah. Well, I definitely don't know, so you know? don't ask me. Yeah. I thought that you would know. <laughs> but here's the thing. We want to know what do you think. It's okay for Big Pharma just to cash out their money and say, I'm going to buy out all of these cases because this is not the first time it happens. We want to know what you think. Is Big Pharma buying their way out, as always? Or this is just another case. Let us know what you think. And please subscribe to the Lib TV.